Let's see. Typical checks should be good. Let's see. Make sure the audio is working. Every gosh darn time they ask me that.
partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best Keep moving. Fine eye, mister. Okay, Such boy. a beautiful, beautiful nice horse. Job. Perfect pelt. Hells to the air. Ah, no, boy. Nearly done. <clears throat> oh, you gotta poop right now. Perfect deer pelt. Hells, yeah. Trigman is like significantly faster and longer stamina thingy than other regular horses, by the way. So you can now outrun bandits if you don't <laughs> like fighting them. Yeah, I was actually going to say that earlier when I first got. I was like, damn, they got a lot of freaking stamina. Did you see that sick headshot I got? Got myself a nice, perfect gear pelt. I need to start warming up, man. Mr. Pearson, here we go. Second part. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. 
What the? Oh, okay. I was about to say, that's bullshit. Good job, Mr. Morgan. If I can't make you want something, you don't. It ain't like that. I think that's simple. Not it was fun. fun going out and working with you, Arthur. <laughs> I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. You must be nervous being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could <clears throat> be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it to you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> yeah, I think you were telling me about that. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Well, good talking to you. There's gotta be some quests I could do. It's Jack, which I can't do his stuff right now. Okay, weapons are forbidden here. What the hell, man? There's gotta be some side quests. Whose horse is it? It's this guy right here, by the way. But so I need to go to Strawberry. Okay. After the photographer dies, I presume. Dude, my horse looks cool. I have Ben. Ugh. I have to say, in this game, unlocking fast travel. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, you can still hear me. But yeah, unlocking fast travel is a gift from the Lord. Uh. Oh, damn, that's good. controller all right so i don't know if i pay i think i might have paid off my bounty here so no bounty here good 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 all right so we're gonna go i want to do all of uh Eris strauss's quests that i see because there's some good ones that i missed Let's see here. 
Oh, Lisa, you remember that quest you did for Air Strauss where you had to go collect the money? And, like, the dude is, like, making you go hunt the uh, the white puma? Remember how freaking crappy that quest was? Ooh. This margarita is not bad. My stepbrother's over. And uh, he asked me if I like margaritas. He can make this little bottle margarita thingy. It's actually pretty good. A sensationally shot margarita crafted with a Honey toes, plot of tequila, and triple sec. Nice. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Margarita meal, plot of tequila, and triple sec. How many times did you get mauled from behind, Lisa? Thanks, Mart. Yeah, uh, I have a Shiba Inu, so that's the breed that my dog is. I've been trying to ask my friend to make me some uh, some thumbnails using my dog, but, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing. It's easy. Just uh, if you aren't in the right position, because it's an insta-kill. So they'll literally just jump up from behind you, and they'll just kill you immediately. It's easy to kill them, though, but it's also easy to be killed. I think it took me, like, three tries to get it down, but... It was literally just user error. Like I would try to pull up my gun and I wouldn't pull it out. Or I think I'm trying to remember exactly what had happened, but I remember there was like a point where I tried to pull up my gun and I didn't pull it out or I jumped or some stupid shit, something stupid. <coughs> All right, here we go. Here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now. I had no idea that it was actually this quest. I was just asking because I was talking about Air Strauss. <laughs> expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Austrian. Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It, it's <clears throat> up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I will probably die this mission. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, so. Okay, follow me. Drive. <coughs> I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm 
I'm merely stating a man without a job, <coughs> with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. This thing. I guarantee the paint. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? <coughs> We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? The big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you see this one. I've been hunting with my pa, shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. Oh yeah, another thing too is like, uh, I don't really use my red, or my dead eye. Uh, R1 button is where you like mark the spots. I don't really use that a lot. I usually just dead eye and just shoot. This is it. So I gotta remember to dead eye correctly. The horses. Whoa there. See her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her. Let me get a real gun, dude. You can't hold the real gun. Okay, I don't know if you know this about this mission. You have to. You cannot see in this cave without holding your actual thing, Bobber. The uh, the lantern. I mean, I'll grab a sh I'll grab a shotgun just to be safe. But yeah, you have. It makes you put away your lantern when you pull out your shotgun. Double barrel with uh, we'll do slugs, but yeah. But yeah, you can't keep you can't keep the uh, lantern out when you're holding another gun. Come on, we gotta go in here. All right, I will die in this mission. It's just it's almost inevitable. Like, I know they're not hard to kill, but god damn, man. Uh, oh, I can hold. So I have Slug. I bet she's white as virgin cotton. Slug does more damage, right? Oh. Higher range, higher accuracy. Yeah, I'll just keep it as Slug then. I'll take the accuracy. Now you can say that, like I told you, this animal does a one-hit kill. If they get you from behind, you're dead. So I also want you to remember that the amount of times I saw you die dumbly in missions you shouldn't have died in, come on. You died against stuff that wasn't even a one-hit kill. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. <clears throat> and look out for Yeah, yeah. I think also, I need to remember I could do that. <laughs> it might show me where they're at. Okay. 
Come a gun ready. She got I am dead dead. Okay. So yeah, they're like walking around, but I think Okay. What? What? All right, here we go. Now I'm probably going to die. So they're not going to show me where this cougar is, are they? Dude, pull your gun out, bro. See? So why did I only have one shot? That's crazy, man. It's why. Better be rare. All right, there we go. Mission completed.
Oh, come on. Let's go, boy. That's not it. Dude, I am far as hell away. Keep it moving! Jesus! Unbelievable! Alrighty. Oh, because I'm in a mission. Gotcha. When I'm done with this, What's I can do it. You look like a rabbit. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. Boom. This is popular, how common it is. And boom. Sir. Hello. Enjoy our fair town in peace and be nice. Be nice. I'm gonna shop half your town, but thank you. Welcome I'll do my best. Oh wait, wrong way. I want that stagecoach. Also, sorry if I'm being kind of quiet right now. Uh, some people who I live with like the eavesdrops on me when I'm streaming, and I don't like that. I know it sounds kind of weird, but yeah, they're in the other room, and I'm just like, ugh. Just don't feel like talking to them right now. But anyways, how's everybody else's night going? Hopefully they uh, go to another room soon or something can't be as, as outspoken as I usually am. <laughs> Take a ride. So where you need to be? Hey, LJ, you get a ride? Okay, let's go to Rhodes. Oh, I should go to Saint Denis. Okay. Crap. You. We're in for a ride and a half. Oh yeah, Lisa, did you know that? swiping in here anymore. So what are you in the market for? That gun seems to be well taken care of. The weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Hope some federal comes through. I ain't seen blood in a while. You'll notice the difference. I'm sure. You'll appreciate the improvement. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. If that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. 
Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. I can rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. That's a wise investment. You'll notice the difference. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Interested in a stock? You can put some carvings on it, too. That'll help, I'm sure. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. Oh, I... you have a good one. I'm running out, Rose. Get him right here. There ain't none of you majorly in the least. Hello. Hey, mister, will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, here, them Greys moved the here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's uh, so. Yeah, sure. Hi, folks. Hello, sir. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? I, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. <laughs> I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm.
looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up it, ain't it? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. Now get out of here.
get you back to the dock. Yep. All right. So how's it going, everybody? You having a good night? Sorry, I didn't realize my mic was muted. Been interacting with y'all guys for like damn near a few minutes now, I think. Anyways, yeah, my mic has like, there's two ways I can mute my mic. I can do it from my controller, I can do it from the mic itself, and sometimes I bump the button on the mic that mutes my mic. Used to have a clip, because like on the little things attached to like the uh, actual jack itself, and the clip on it broke, so it just kind of hangles and dangles. So sometimes my knee might bump into it. But I've been trying to talk to, I've been trying to talk to my friend Lisa here for a little while asking her, like, I was saying, like, man, I thought we were going to play some It Takes Two tonight, but I guess she doesn't really feel yeah. like it tonight. Because that sounds like a lot of fun, man. This game sounds like fun, too, but I don't know. I don't feel super duper talkative by myself. Some nights I can do it, other nights it's just like, ah. But, you know, sometimes the gameplay is good enough. I didn't think me and Lisa made it halfway through the game last night. I think we made it like maybe like a quarter to maybe a third the way through. Okay. Count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Yeah. It wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. <laughs> well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got Give me good stuff. Here. Ah, how about <coughs> this? Provide a man a tincture. He'll be well for a day. Teaching a mate one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, <laughs> see me on my travels and you're in need of something? Make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. You know what? I think Arthur needs a bath. He looks a little dirty. No good deed. Is that gold or is that... Silver. What'd I make? No good deed. Uh, well, it probably was a bronze. I got interrupted several times during that mission, so nothing you can do about it. Okay, so general store. Let's see here. Where is there a uh, hotel here? There's got to be a hotel somewhere. Ah, oh, really? Oh, I bet you salute. Does salute have a hotel? They have rooms, right? But it's closed. See if we can do anything at the uh, saloon. Because I want to take a bath. So you take a bath, like I think it actually makes your like uh, health core go down slower. All right, let's see what we can do here. There's a way to wait in this game, right? Just straight up, just wait. I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. 
Oh, this guy. I really wish they did something with this guy. He literally just walks around looking for his friend Gavin, and you cannot do anything about it. And it's just like, I get it. You never want us to find Gavin. You want to leave it open-ended, but you should have made like a quest with it. You know, maybe a couple quests. Would have been funny, man. Would have been hilarious. Let's see here. Let us see here. Man, holy shit. Somebody help me, please. Evening. Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. Uh, Lisa, are you still there? Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. I guess you just can't use the saloon here. Well, that sucks. Where are you? You idiot. Oh, I love this mission. Fuck yes. Howdy! Hey there, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All righty. Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Captain Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. 
me just make sure my audio is working. Well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after <coughs> all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. All right, let's get this over with. So in this mission, is it going to show me what's going on? So I can't... Wait. Store, so I can't look at the store. Okay, progress, maybe. Can you tell me what mission I'm doing right now? Because I want to know what mission I'm doing. Three... What? You was quiet in there. Let me see. everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the hell, bitch. <laughs> Those here you really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really fair be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? 
the master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Try to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this mule's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Second, you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide in the back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> you want, boy? I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no <coughs> harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, <coughs> Sean. I could have done that way better than Sean did. Like, IRL. I'm not even from their time. I probably could have shot the shit with them. Be like, yo, man, hey. Here's a free bottle of some whiskey. It's not even whiskey, it's moonshine. But, <laughs> dude, that was funny. You can tell he's nervous. Dude, just shoot the shit with him, man. Be like, hey, what's up? Yeah. Um, so you're not the usual driver. Yeah, you know. You could be like, hey, they're sick. Hey, you know, I'm new to the job. You know, they're doing other stuff right now. Moving on up in the company. You know what I'm saying? A little something, something. Uh, okay. So I guess no, it takes two tonight. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? 
And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All ah, right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, oh no. <laughs> horses like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man. <coughs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back. So move quick. No turning back. Dude, I love boy. this mission. I'll just bar burning down a of houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay just let me deal with our friend here You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. <coughs> Woo! It's the fun part. Where's the shamash I have? Oh, it's up at the top right. Okay. That 
It's good for you. We can just a quick dousing as well. Sounds a fat cigar. Oh, Sean's gonna die. Get away. 
Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Tobacco. <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Good girl. Hi, Arthur. Arthur. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but... 